So in response to question five about if we are strong believers in the minimum wage, can we justify the existence of unpaid internships? Uh, personally, I think uh, unpaid internships are a good thing, um, especially since uh, you, you usually get an internship in the workforce you're seeking to go uh, into after you graduate. Um, and a person doesn't usually work uh, a lot of hours uh, at in that internship. It's usually maybe the 10 to 12 hours a week. So personally, I think uh, I, that it's justifiable in the sense of, of it's providing experience, which is good enough. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think it's a really dicey subject. Uh, if you're a firm believer in the minimum wage, I really don't think you should be in favor, at least justifying, you know, the existence of, of uh, unpaid labor, right? Because it's essentially what it is, unpaid labor. I mean, you do get, you know, several benefits, like you mentioned, uh, particularly if you're a student, right? You'll get the benefits of working maybe with a larger company, uh, learning from the co-workers there, learning from that different type of atmosphere. Uh, but at the same time, you're not getting paid. Um, from what I've spoken to with some of my colleagues and peers uh, at my school is unpaid internships you usually don't try to go for it. There's usually will be the last resort because like, like I said, they're just it's just unpaid labor. Um, and it, it really, the cons eventually outweigh the pros. And why stress yourself out, you know, 20 to 40 hours a week uh, for an internship that is not gonna reward you as well as they should. Right? I think if, if we find like a middle ground where uh, maybe they won't pay us directly, but uh, we get uh, research credits yeah. for our school or if uh, they pay uh, some of our tuition or give us some scholarships or uh, give us an opportunity to apply to some certain scholarships within their, their business, then I think that's justifiable in itself. But I, I think like you said, it is a, a bit of a dicey subject since it is, like you said, basically uh, unpaid labor, but. Yeah, yeah. and I think that's, that's actually really important. I think that's something maybe we should fight and strive for. Uh, you know, having a little bit of compensation, like you said, maybe getting, uh, you know, being guaranteed something at the very least, whether it be credit academically or, uh, you know, job-related credit. Uh, maybe we can go even one step further and say, if you get an internship with this particular company, maybe you're guaranteed a job in the future, or, you know, maybe you're at least in a stronger consideration in the future, right? Something that at least motivates you to want to have that internship other than you're getting soft skills, you're getting all these skills that basically you can really learn elsewhere, right? And even get paid for it. Now in response to question six, uh, if we relish the idea of taxing billionaires more, should we also tax university endowments, many of which are well in excess of billions of dollars? Uh, personally, I don't really think so. Uh, and the reason I come to that conclusion is really because we know that university endowments are usually uh, you know, donations from large charitable organizations or, or from previous alumni, uh, you know, donate large sums of money. And we also have to keep in mind that these institutions of higher learning are, the majority are labeled as not-for-profit, right? Non-profit organizations, which means they don't get taxed, right? So if we're proposing or fighting for taxing these, these billions of dollars of endowment, then at this, on that same token, shouldn't we also be proposing to tax non-profit organizations, you know, other uh, organizations, uh, you know, throughout the country, millions of organizations, Habitat for Humanity, for example, they're a non-profit. Uh, should we also tax them? Because it, it, it falls in the same token, right? I, I, I think it's a, I think it's, it's, it's not a strong argument because we're saying let's tax them because it, it's a large sum of money, right? I don't really think that should be fair. No matter the price, whether it be 10 bucks or a billion dollars, right? I don't think you should tax it if you're already labeled as a nonprofit organization. I, I also, I, I agree with you. And I also think it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges. Uh, this is a donation that is for the for the better use of society, you could say. Uh, it's gonna help uh, uh, fund uh, maybe research grants or student scholarships, or, or it's gonna fund something. But it's gonna benefit either, uh, it's gonna benefit the university, but most importantly, the students at the end of the day, right? Uh, yes, taxing billionaires will uh, in return, uh, maybe, stimulate the economy maybe a little bit yeah the, yeah like it, it, it'll help but i think uh it it it's it's a bit different in in this situation 
yeah, yeah. Especially since like that money is, is, is really, you know, revenue. And we, every single person in this country, or the majority of the people in this country are taxed, right? Based off your revenue. Uh, that's not something, you're earning that money, so you're getting tax free, right? That's how our economy and our government works. Uh, they're not donations. It's yeah. not like these billionaires are getting yeah, exactly. it's a like billion a, a, dollars donated a revenue to them, right? uh, that these, these billionaires are consistently getting money throughout the years. And, but these donations are, maybe they don't occur as often, right? So it, it, uh, um, taxing them could uh, ultimately farm maybe a student uh, not getting a scholarship, right? Because maybe if they didn't tax, if they did tax them, um, it, it's in a profound name, maybe one or two or three students not be, be able to uh, uh, get a scholarship or, or uh, an organization getting funds for the, that year. So Yeah, yeah. And also, I mean, uh, it, it's also pretty difficult because we're talking about, you know, there's, there's this different, <laughs> this entire different conversation to be had about should billionaires, right, in theory, be allowed to donate? Because if you think about it, they use those donations as tax write-offs, right? So then you think about that's a larger conversation, right? But that's a conversation also to be had, you know, should these billionaires be allowed to write off these millions of dollars of donations in order to be tax exempt, right, and pay yeah, less taxes each and each year? So that's, you know, that's a, a different argument and conversation to, have, to be had that's sort of correlated to this. Uh, so, yeah. I think, I guess, our ultimate decision is that we shouldn't uh, tax the university endowments because it provides... Uh, more more benefits than, than harm and in 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 the case of billionaires it doesn't harm them harm them in, in terms of like oh if we tax them that then they're not gonna have any more billions but because they it's a, a constant uh cash flow right they're always gonna have money so uh in response to question eight should we end the tax preferred treatment for nonprofits? i think uh absolutely not uh, most of these nonprofit institutions are uh, church organizations, church institutions, uh, just organizations that uh, help society. I, th these organizations are mostly for the better good of society, right? And their only revenue stream is through uh, donations. So if we tax their donations, that then these already suffering organizations, and most of them uh, depend on those donations. So and we're taking away more from them. So I think uh, we shouldn't end that uh, tax exemption from them since it they're not causing any harm to society their their sole purpose is to better our society so taking away that that uh, money or that incentive from them uh, will do more harm than good to our society I think personally yeah I'd agree I mean I could see the sort of the counter argument uh, you know or not counter argument you know the argument for this uh, you know and that argument being that Sure, I mean, these nonprofits are, are contributing to the, you know, greater society in a good way, but for the majority of the, part, the majority of the time, they don't use that money as well as they should, right? We see that conversation a lot, uh, especially with university endowments that we talked about earlier. Uh, you know, the argument is that, oh, they have these, you know, large sums of money, but, you know, the dorms are still dilapidated, right? Or they don't give as much financial aid as they should, or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I think overall, I mean, like, like you just mentioned, like it does more good than harm, right? More than anything, it contributes uh, to the betterment of society as a whole. Um, and like you had mentioned, if we were to tax these, these uh, nonprofit organizations, like we're going to take a, take away large sums of money from them, and then we go into a deeper a deeper argument into like now do these non nonprofit organizations fit in like these certain tax brackets, right? Because we know that not all non for profit organizations have enough income, right? Right, like we mentioned, universities may have billions, and maybe a local non for profit only has hundreds of thousands, right? So, how do we tax these different organizations? And that's an even more difficult issue, conversation, yeah. right? I mean, we already argue about the different tax brackets for the rich and the poor and the middle class and different stuff like that. Now, you're adding on to that conversation now non for profits and where they should fall and how much they should be taxed. And I think it's just a whole big mess that, you know, we, we can just easily avoid by just staying the course of where we are now and not taxing these, these uh, organizations that really do contribute to the greater good of society. Yeah, I, I agree with, well, with every statement you made. Uh, I think we should keep it how it is. And, and it ultimately comes down to uh, are these organizations harming our society in which most of them and not all of them are not so it, it i think it's i don't think it's ever caused a problem we've never seen in the news that oh this organization is 
is uh, doing something wrong with the money that's being donated. Maybe there's in instances where uh, uh, the administration is saving money, but that's I think that's a different issue. But uh, uh, overall, I think I think uh, we should uh, stay how it is. Everything should stay how it, how it is now.